Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to share my meal prep to help me get back onto keto. Today is Sunday, tomorrow is the 1st of May and I am starting back strict keto, back on the ketogenic diet and today I am going to do all of my meal prep to make it super easy for me to get straight back into keto so I thought I would share the process with you and also through May I'm going to share a video every single day to share my process of getting back into ketosis. Tomorrow I'm going to film my first day full day of keto and I will share that with you and through the week you can expect loads of recipes, meal ideas, how I'm going, how I went six weeks off keto, what happened, did I lose weight, didn't I? You'll have to check out and see what happens. So um, before I get into it though, if you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe and join the Yummy Inspirations community for more low carb keto diet inspiration. And just so you know, also I'll leave a link down below to a blog post where you can check out all of the information in more details, as well as a link to my ebook, The Quick Start to Keto Guide, which I have actually been referring to to help me get back into keto. It's an ebook I wrote um, which really helped me um, share my journey of what I did to get into keto. First time around, I lost 16 kilos in keto. First time around, I've taken six weeks off and I'm getting straight back into it again. And believe it or not, my ebook has helped me. So I'll leave a link to that down below for you to check out. And so today I'm going to go through all my meal prep, my Sunday meal prep, which will help set me up for a week of success. Um, and I'll share everything that I'm doing. So let's just get straight into it. I am going to make some crispy cheese chips now. I've heated up my frying pan and we're just going to pop a tablespoon per crispy cheese chip and we're just going to let that melt. I'm going to make a whole lot of these. You could also pop these onto a greased oven tray and stick them into the oven to make your chips but I just feel like doing it in the frying pan today. Just about a tablespoon or so, just move them together. They all kind of melt together as you can see the first one is doing over there. And you can do as many batches as you want, as big as your frying pan is. You can make one enormous, this is how to make cheese tacos. You can make, make one enormous one and then you've got a cheese taco. You've just got to be patient and leave it to go and to be super crispy. We're going to try and make one in the center over there. Let's move that aside. Yeah, just gentle, gentle does it. Now I'm going to just leave that to melt and you can watch and see how these crisp up. See those edges crisping up over there oh yeah so this kind of almost done you just got to keep watching and you might need to pull some out earlier than other ones um, I've got a plate at the ready and as soon as they're ready pop them on the plate let them cool down they crisp on cooling and I said you could make tacos so if you made one enormous one then you pull it off and then you can actually while it's still cooling fold it over and you can actually make a taco it's pretty cool and these are almost done oh. How crispy. <gasps> Yum. So these are going to see me through when I want that crispy, crunchy texture. Oh yeah, perfect for the first few days or any time on keto. Okay, I'm totally happy with the look of that one. I'm going to pull that one off. So I've got that one and I'll just pop it onto a plate and just let it cool down. And this will crisp up and make the most beautiful crispy cheese crisps with just one ingredient. Mm, check out those crispy chips. They are so good. So good. So I'm going to move these aside and move on to my next item. We'll just pop them over there so we can keep a look on them. Um, I'm going to make some hard boiled eggs because hard boiled eggs are an awesome go to low carb just snack or part of a meal. You can make deviled eggs. You could just eat a hard boiled egg whole. Um, it's not really high fat. It's more high protein, but it can be you can add heaps of mayo to it, sour cream, whatever you like. It's just a really awesome um, keto friendly ingredient to have in the fridge. So I have my eggs over here. I've got seven eggs. I've covered them with water. I'm going to pop them onto the boil. And the way I hard boiled eggs is bring it up to the boil, set a timer for 10 minutes, and then take it off the heat and let them 
cool completely so I'm gonna do that and I'll show you these again a bit later once they're all cooled and I'll just give you some ideas on what I'm gonna do with them and next I've got this corned beef silver side I've got uh, it's about 1.3 kilos I can see underneath there about 1.1.4 kilos let's say um, of corned beef silver side what I want to do is cover this with water as well just like the eggs cover them up with water add a bit of garlic to them bring it up to the boil and cook that for uh, about one and a half hours or so so about one and a half hours and then I'm gonna have this beautiful look at that fat on it I'm gonna have this corned beef ready to go for during the week that I can have for breakfast lunches dinners snacks anything it's just I want to have as many options in the fridge as possible and I know between myself, my husband, the kids, we will eat all of this. My husband and I are both on keto, kids not, but they'll eat most of this food anyway and I'll just maybe make a sandwich or something for them because they're not keto. Um, so silver side is just another one of my oh, go to. For day one tomorrow I'll be set if I've got silver side in the fridge as well as all these other ingredients so this is going to go on as well and now I also want to show you a few other bits and pieces that are going to help me through my first week back into keto. I just wanted to chat you through a couple of my other low carb high fat favorites which I'm going to be relying on a lot in the next few days. Firstly macadamia nuts. I'm going to portion myself out a little um, serving of macadamia nuts because low carb high fat. I love my macadamia nuts and it'll just you know be a great snack as well as salami. It's just so high fat this it's awesome. Um, so I'm going to snack on it through the day um, as well just incorporate it into my meals um, I just to get back I want all my favorites so that just is super easy and just as pleasant as possible so next I'm going to show you putting together everything that I've prepped today into some beautiful meal boxes meal prep boxes so that I can go to them when I need them and give my husband as well some to take to work with him Okay, all of my ingredients are ready and I've got my favorite meal prep boxes. I love these. I love the little portioning out and just easy to grab and go. When I'm home, I've just got meal boxes ready for me. Um, I'll leave a link down below um, to check these out and grab them. I, they're, they're awesome and they've lasted ages. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill all the portions with what we've prepped and some other ingredients too. Starting with some celery. Um, I find celery is an awesome vessel for you can pop almond butter inside it a bit of cream cheese some um, you can make some egg mayo to put inside it really just so many options it's great for just <laughs> I personally love celery and I love the crunch of it and just even a stick by itself um, so I'm popping a couple of these into each because you know how annoying it is to actually prep it when you've got a whole celery you never end up eating it but when I prep it and I've got it all trimmed and ready to go. It just makes it so much easier. I'm trying to get you to see as much as you can here. Okay, so we've got those. And what I've done is I have peeled all the hard-boiled eggs. I've got the whole lot of hard-boiled eggs here, which I have peeled. And I'm going to leave them some. I'm going to leave them whole. I'm just going to pop them one into each of the little meal prep boxes here. Because as I said, some my husband will take to work. Some I'll keep at home with me. And if we've got a hard-boiled egg into each of them, then it's easy. We can decide what to do with it. You could just eat it whole, put a bit of salt on, eat it whole. You could cut it in half, scoop out the yolk and make a quick deviled egg with mixing a bit of mayo together, stick it back in. You could, as I said, make a bit of egg mayo and fill in this. You could do whatever you like. Oh, I've got a few eggs left over, so we might just pop a few extras in here and there. Yeah, that's good. And next, what have we got next? Oh, our crispy, crispy chips. So we get to use up all these little holes. Oh, yeah, look at that. We've got a crispy chip. I know I've kind of got one per each, but they're so... I find it them to be pretty rich and just so filling. So one for me, one crispy chip is so good. I just enjoy that. And also what I'm going to pop in here are the nuts that I showed you before because portioning it out for me makes it easier. So we will just add a little portion of nuts. Which little section should we add it to? We'll add it in oh, with the celery along over here. Just some nuts. So then when I want, I've got a portion already. I find a little handful each day is the perfect amount. So we just add. <laughs> Not very beautifully presented, but you know. Just a whole lot of nuts and just a bit nuts okay so you can add any other 
ingredients of choice but if we just take a look at those boxes having that tell me you don't feel like you're missing out I've really done those nuts haphazardly haven't I but having a couple of eggs I might send my husband off with one or two eggs and then when I'm home through the day and I want something to eat I can have a crispy cheesy chip or I can grab one of those celery sticks and sell it fill it with some cream cheese, make a deviled egg, have a handful of nuts. That just means between meals, because I find I find once I'm keto adapted, once I'm fat adapted, I don't snack as much. But in the beginning I find I just I need snacks as I'm getting keto adapted. That'll do me just fine as well as the corned beef silver side and the salami. Um, as I said, tomorrow I'm going to share a full day of eating my breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, how I go on my first day of keto. So make sure that you subscribe to get that video when it comes out. Um, I, as I said before as well, I am going to be sharing a video every day in May. So make sure you subscribe to get notified when those come out. Um, and hit the little bell so that you actually get notified because YouTube doesn't always like to tell you when videos come out. So there you go. Those are my meal prep boxes. That's my meal prep for my first day back on keto. I look forward to sharing my keto journey with you. If you've got any tips for getting back into keto, leave them in the comments below. And remember to check out all the links down below. There's loads more that'll help you on your keto journey. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye.